Are you somebody who has a garage full of things? Do you want to try to get out of debt? Are you trying to save more money or live a more purposeful life? with having less stuff. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not having more stuff brings more happiness. And I'm gonna outline four principles that I found through my research that truly determine whether our things really bring us happiness or not. Americans today have three times the amount of space they did than 50 years ago. The storage unit industry is a $24 billion industry. We spend $1.2 trillion on non-essential goods, which are basically things that we don't even need. In 2019, our family packed our whole lives into 10 suitcases to move across the world to Singapore for my husband's job. And if there's one thing I learned through that experience, so many of our things were non-essential items. We had closets full of things that we never like even looked at or touched, and it was an amazing experience to pare down all of our things to come here. The first principle is having less stuff saves time, money, and stress. Americans buy about 64 items of clothing a year, which equates to $1,100. And if you were to just try to cut that in half, you would save $550 immediately. Think about other areas of spending. If you were just try to cut it in half or reduce it a little bit, we could save hundreds of dollars by just not buying stuff. Time. I think one of the things I used to think about at the end of the day was cleaning up my stuff. It just took so much time to do that. And I would think like if I just had less things to worry about, I wouldn't be shuffling things around in my house all day. And living overseas and we came you know with nothing we've been really careful about what we've bought and it's been so amazing to just not have that burden of having to manage our things and along with that i think comes the stress but yeah one other point is with having less stuff is social media is a great tool but in a lot of ways there are a lot of influencers that share all their favorite products things that cha have changed their lives and it's so easy to get sucked in and want that for yourself as well i know that i've done that and i think one of the biggest things that's helped me reduce the amount of times i buy things and bring new things into my house is just turning off those accounts and only doing research on things that i really want and have thought about for a while cassie did an awesome video recently on 12 ways to save money and she has wonderful money saving tips so if you're on the lookout for ways to save money and reduce your things she has some awesome tips in there that integrates all of that second principle is don't compare yourself to others have you ever looked at somebody else's social media account or just anybody really and thought to yourself wow they have the perfect house the perfect wardrobe and body and maybe it's not like right away that you compare yourself to others but i think it's that constant high standard of living that we see around us on the internet that kind of makes you subconsciously think like I need to have that too or I need to look that way too and I need to get whatever I need to get to look that way or, or have that thing and so I know that I've fallen prey to that so I try to turn off accounts that kind of make me feel that way a lot and aren't really sharing productive information that are going to make me a better person so I think that is a huge way to eliminate comparing yourself to others when I was doing research for this video I came across a Time, Art Time Magazine article that talked about studies that linked our stuff to our happiness and one of the things that it said was happy people don't waste time dwelling on unpleasant things interpret hard things in a positive way and dare not to compare themselves to others let's dare not to compare ourselves to others the third principle is focusing less on things and focusing on things that truly make us happy and in the same article it talks about how the things that truly make us happy which i think we all know is the people in our lives let's focus more on spending our time and money with having experiences with our loved ones and friends versus spending money on things and the other thing that i gained and thought was really good was we should spend money on having experiences like a bike that can give you hours and hours of enjoyment and we bought our kids rollerblades and they ride their rollerblades everywhere and they had love it and it was such a good purchase for our family because we can go on walks with, while they ride their rollerblades and we just get a lot of enjoyment from that. Fourth principle is that we are adaptable and I truly love this one because I find, have found this to be true in my own life. When we bought our home in 2012, we really stretch ourselves financially to get into the house. And we didn't have enough money to furnish it, furnish it. And so we basically lived in an empty house besides like a couch and a kitchen table and we had a bed. 
and it was pretty empty for a few years. We took hand-me-downs, we bought things used, and honestly, it taught us that we could adapt to that situation, and we had so many wonderful memories with friends and family who would come over to our house, and we would pull out folding chairs, and it was totally fine, and I don't look back on that time with regret or embarrassment that we didn't have everything set up at the time, I just look back fondly on it. If you're trying to get out of debt and you need to cut your expenses or eat out less or not go to the gym, you can adapt to new situations. And I will add that being adaptable doesn't always mean that it's really enjoyable at first. But I do think those stretching moments and the sacrifices that we make can really bring a lot of peace and contentment because we know that we worked hard for what we got all right, one last thing this article said, which I thought kind of drives this point home, is it says, you overestimate how much pleasure you'll get from having more. Humans are adaptable creatures, but that's also why you're never all that satisfied for long when good fortune comes your way. While earning more makes you more happy in the short term, you quickly adjust to your new wealth. So I think what's important with this point is to realize that we can be grateful for what we have. We can be content with what we have. I would love to hear how having less stuff has affected your life in a positive way. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you come back for more.